this is another vlog. So, Friday, I did not post the vlog. I didn't post uh, Friday's vlog all weekend uh, for a reason. After I made the, the final clip, you know, I'll, I'll post it today. I, I will finish it up and post it today. I made the final clip that I made uh, as far as it stands right now. And I got home and I just had the worst headache and that just like overpowered the rest of my day and evening and that was it. I was out of commission, it wasn't gonna happen. Really all I had the energy for was to just sit on the couch and watch Infinity War again and try to draw something. But as soon as I tried drawing stuff, my head hurt. Sat at the computer a little bit, tried to edit some more. I got a little bit of editing done. I was like, ugh, it just, whatever. Wait for this Advil to kick in. The Advil kicked in and eventually I was just kind of in a haze. I don't know. It just sucked. The fun part is that the rest of the weekend was great. On Saturday, I picked my daughter up. We went out to dinner for a quick bite of pizza and we saw Avatar 2. Go see it. It's awesome. I don't know. If you haven't seen it, see it. I need to see it again so I can watch it with a more critical eye because I was overwhelmed with the spectacle of it all. It looked beautiful. It was so amazing to watch. The, I mean, you can tell this from the trailers too, but I mean, to see the uh, the character designs on the, the water knobby, oh my God, I love them. I love them, I love them. Just the look of the characters. It shows how on Pandora, they uh, evolved differently. They have a different tint of blue to their skin. It's more aqua. They have like slightly broader shoulders than the forest Navi. They have flippers on their forearms. I don't know, it's just like character design wise. They're built for living in the water and oh my gosh. I, I want to see it again and I want to make sketches. I want to get any kind of footage that's been released. Pause it so I can get a really good look. So inspired to do that. Go see it. Story wise, like I say, I want to watch it again with a more critical eye because they I, I did miss the first like five minutes maybe and it's pretty dense with the exposition kind of catching you up and what happened since the end of the first Avatar. And I, unfortunately I missed some key stuff. I was able to figure stuff out. In the beginning of movies like this, there's always elements that you want to pay attention to because it's going to tie into the, the last key moments. And I feel like I really missed out on something. It, it didn't seem as uh, wanting of a story as the first one. Because the first one, I mean, once somebody posted that, that screenshot of the Pocahontas script with all the names of the Pocahontas characters scratched out and like all the names of the Avatar characters put it there, I was like, oh no, it kind of ruined the movie for me. It still looked amazing and I still absolutely love that, that first movie too. So I don't, I don't care, story be damned. I am a sucker for beautiful visuals and elemental designs. Total sucker for it. I don't care. Well, hello. I'm at the end of my drive. It's about 3.25. It was a good work day. Uh, just another good, fun, productive day. And I have stuff to work on at home. I've got a couple sketches I'd like to finish up. I've got to edit and post Friday's vlog. And yeah, I got some drawing done at work, which was a little, that, that was fun. I was inspired. I didn't think to grab them, but I have some drawings that I did earlier. We were bored and we had like time to kill. I was cutting cardboard. I had these stacks of like these, these little thin stacks, perfectly sized pieces of cardboard. It's like perfect size just for a little drawing on them with a Sharpie. Or like we, we had 15 minutes or something like that until we could uh, bottle, you know, start running the line. There was nothing to do. So I got Sharpies out of the break room and I was like, okay, I'm gonna draw some robots on these. What are you guys gonna do? And I slapped the Sharpies down and uh, I got a couple people to draw stuff and it was fun. I, I don't know, I love doing stuff like that. It just makes the time go by and it's just a little, you take a moment to be creative and it's fun. Run into the grocery store, get a couple things, gas the car up, go home, edit, post.
Ugh. record more for this vlog and edit and maybe post. That'd be crazy if I got it done today. I have time though, maybe. We shall see. So you ever have one of those days where you come home from work and then you do three batches of laundry at $2 per batch, only to realize after doing all the laundry that at some point during the day you got machine grease on your sweatshirt and now you have to do more laundry. Good day, it's Tuesday. I'm driving into work, it's about 7.20 in the morning. I've got a little bit of time to record a video. I've been thinking on this drive in about my posting schedule and what I want to do. I'm thinking a Monday, Wednesday, no, Monday, Thursday. No, no, I had it figured out. Shit. So I probably won't bring any art supplies to work tomorrow. I could just arrive at the studio and paint. I want to paint something. Definitely think about painting. What am I gonna paint? I have no clue. I have like five things I could paint just off the top of my head. I've got two mini canvases with star backgrounds that need spaceships on them. I've got, uh, I have a Baron Burble portrait, self-portrait, which is ridiculous. And it's done in like the style of like the old master, which is, I mean, pretty presumptuous on my account. Like I can't paint like they paint. And I'm not gonna even use oils, I'm gonna use acrylics. But I thought of the character of Baron Burble as being this like ridiculous pompous ass, just because that'd be funny. I had a funny sketch for it and everything. I don't know, like it's, it's roughed out on a canvas somewhere in the studio. Like that's a thing I could go work on tomorrow. You know what, maybe that's what I'll do. Hey, it's Wednesday. My big plans for going to the studio kind of fell by the wayside because instead of getting out of work at 12 or one, I got out of work at three. I was home at four something and then I just completely hit the wall. So here I am at home. It's like seven o'clock at this point. I'm gonna draw. I've got some markers, I've got the sketchbook and I want to throw some color on some paper and have a good time. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go. And my daughter uh, drew some stuff here the other day. I'll let her work on those. But I want to color this thing because I worked on it at work. Ooh, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Got a little schmutz in there. I'm going to go in with this lighter pink. I'll probably hit up like the, like a reddish orange up, up, up on top. Maybe go a little cooler on the bottom. I don't know. No idea. Really, I think I'm just going to have this video in time lapse while I talk about something else. What am I going to talk about? This is a good time for me to brainstorm what the fuck I'm going to talk about. So as I draw, I'm curious. I want to know, what is your inspiration? Like, what is something that you just keep around your house that just inspires you to think... I don't know, just inspires you to um, create or think about things. I don't know, like I'm, I'll just pull a quick example. I love robots, robot toys, Transformers specifically. I love these damn things and I have since I was nine. I keep them all over. When, uh, when I'm fidgeting around with one of those, I just get ideas. Like it's just, it's just like a mindless kind of, thing that I can fidget with. Like if, if I'm preoccupied with something or there's just, you know, I don't know, like, you know, interpersonal drama, that kind of thing, or just overwhelming kind of crap that nobody likes to admit that they have it, <laughs> all the overwhelming shit, but I mean, they have it anyway. This marker, it totally died on me. And I think it's because the caps this cap doesn't stay on tightly. I think it dries out because of that. So I, I need to buy a new Red 46 from Copic. I think they should give me a new one because it's faulty. Anyway, the hell was I talking about? <laughs> Inspiration. Stuff I keep around the house. Like I say, Transformers toys, robot toys from the 80s. That is the thing that I love. And it's been a pretty consistent staple in my whole life, which... <laughs> I don't know. It's a little embarrassing to admit. I also just don't care anymore. I just don't give a shit. If someone's gonna judge me because I keep the things that I like around me, then they're a judge judgmental person and they can seriously go fuck off. I don't have time for that bullshit. Ooh, I'm all full of cuss words. 
But yeah, I have a ton of books, graphic novels that I keep around, art books that I keep around. Very inspirational for me. Oh, I should do a tour of the apartment at some point. That could be fun. That could be really fun. I have art up on the wall. I have some fun stuff. Oh, I have some really fun art posters. <laughs> I have a lot of kid art up on the wall, which is wonderful. Because my daughter has been making art forever. With me as her dad and her mom as her mom, there was no way that kid was getting out of childhood without at least an appreciation for art. Turns out she's pretty artistic herself. I have the cutest photo of her at, I mean, she was just about a year old and we would always keep big rolls of paper and we would put it up on the wall in this little condo we were living in. Her mom mixed up some paints that were like made with milk or something. It was weird. It was like, I don't know, it was like a whole new weird thing she was trying out. She made the milk paints. The three of us were just making art. We were painting and the cutest photo of my child in a diaper holding a paintbrush. And like really, like you could tell she was like really trying to figure out her technique. And oh, I just love it. But yeah, like a big roll of paper. That's something you can keep around the house too. Look around in your hometown if you want something like this. Go to your local newspaper. If they're printing, if they're still printing their own papers in-house, sometimes they'll sell N rolls of newsprint for like 60 cents a pound. You know, it's like, it's a roll of newsprint and they, they can't use it. They can't print any more papers with it because it's the end of the roll and you can get a really good deal. I mean, if you just need a huge amount of disposable paper, seek that out. Totally recommend it. So that's an inspirational thing that you can keep. Have a huge roll of paper and find an excuse to, to make something on it. You know, you could use huge, you know, a huge amount of paint. You could use pastels, you could use whatever. Just do something fun. It doesn't have to be serious. Don't focus on making a masterpiece. I find that that's usually when I lock right up and I stop is when I'm trying to be over, um, emphasize how important it is. I should, I, I can't screw this up. I can't screw this up. People are gonna be watching <laughs> like, like this. This might be screwed up past redemption here, but I'm still going. I'm not gonna stress out about that because that seems silly to me. That color looks way off. Oh, see, this is where the blender comes in. Where did I put that? I cast it out to the side. The blender. Okay, now this is Artist Law from Michaels and it's a solid blender. Like don't spend $8 on a blender. Get these for $8, right? Get get the Copics for eight bucks a pop. Always get them on sale. God, actually don't buy them for eight bucks a pop. Always get them on sale. Yeah, blenders, don't break the bank with blenders. Use them a lot. Get the store brand, perfectly fine. Um, Copics, the, the reason why I swear by Copics though, and I it took me a while to get on the bandwagon with those. The main reason why I stick with those over anything else is because they are refillable. So yep, you're gonna spend a lot of money on a marker, but then you keep that barrel of that marker forever. You buy new tips, you can buy more ink. It's the best. You're putting less crap in the landfill because there's like lots of stuff in these. Like Jazza did a video where he, he took one. Oh, dude, it was a, I wonder if it was a Red 46 that he took. He put it through a bandsaw to see what's inside the Copic. I wonder if it was one of these and I wonder if it was faulty. Maybe there was a whole factory goof up. Probably not. So I'm a big nerd. I also love action figures, comics, graphic novels, that sort of thing. I was thinking about reviewing the um, Invincible action figures. They have their ups and their downs, but they look so good. Like, I really, really, really love them. Uh, they look exactly like the characters as portrayed in the um, animation on Amazon. <clears throat> Those were heavily influenced, if not like straight up copied over from the comic book versions uh, designed by Corey Walker and Ryan Otley, who are just amazing. And I love them. I mean, Ryan Otley m might be one of my favorite artists in comics. And Corey Walker is just, a, just amazing too. Uh, if you know The Walking Dead or Invincible, you know who I'm talking about. If not, where have you been? Honestly, it's time. It's time. But yeah, Invincible, the best superhero comic ever, probably, in my mind at least. <laughs> in, in my humble opinion. The cartoon is, it's like they reworked it. Uh, Kirkman, Robert Kirkman has reworked it and the writers have taken the comic 
and made it better and made it flow better. I highly, highly recommend the show and the action figures are freaking rad. It just tickles my brain to see these things in a really, really good positive way. And it makes me want to create stuff when I look at these things and when I pose them and all that stuff. And I know I sound like a gigantic child and you can make an argument for that. Also, I, I really just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. I love this stuff. It makes me happy. It makes me want to make art and I totally embrace it. Love it. Love it. I am not doing this any justice anymore. <laughs> What do you think, viewer, whoever you are? What would you do? Would you take the red violet 25 and go around here? Me too. It was just what I was thinking. Thank you. It needs to be grayer, right? Why did I go with the... Ugh, man. Okay, I need to make it more gray. Oh yeah, I'm just wrecking this thing. Cool. <laughs> I do kind of like that super, super light blue though. Oh, dude, maybe I'll hit, yeah, maybe that's just the tint I need in there. I love how you can layer these up. Cool, I'm really happy with this. It's just a funny little sketch, but I love it. Oh, maybe I could tighten up the, um... I can tighten those up and make them look better if I use that pink, pink micron or magenta, whatever the heck it is. Yeah, this one. Use this, I bet you I could tighten this up. Do you ever find that you're doing something unrelated to art that's just fun and relaxing? Like, I don't know, making cookies or eating cookies <laughs> or gosh, just like playing video games or reading a book and you're doing this unrelated thing and then you get the coolest idea for an image that you want to create it definitely happens to me i'll be you know like unwinding watching a show and then i'll get an idea to draw something completely unrelated to the show it's like these these ideas just kind of bubble up to the surface or i'll be listening to a podcast about finance or something like that but i'll get ideas that just kind of like percolate up oh wait what if i did this with a I don't know, like, what if I stipple colored the, with the markers to blend instead of smushing to blend, you know what I mean? Like what I'm doing in there. Like, oh, wow, now, what if I did that in here? To give it like a little more of a flavor, different flavor. But I think of stuff like that while I'm listening to whatever. <laughs> Lately, I've been, uh, I've been listening to a lot of uh, art-based podcasts, though, too. Oh, like I love the SVS Learn podcast. I love them. I should probably go to their website and do some of their challenges, their exercises. I'm just trying to work these muscles of doing something creative every day. That's really important to me that I do that. But it's also really important that I work and make money. So, you know, kind of have to make your choices in life. This is just having fun, though. I do like this. It's when I do stuff like this that I get ideas for other things too. Oh, I can try this out. I'll just do this under here and see what does that look like? Does that look cool? Oh, that's, that's cool. That could be neat. Oh yeah, I have to use no reference for mushrooms. I have no idea what kind of mushroom this is. I don't have any idea. All I know is that it is fun to draw. Oh. It 
is almost eight, it's like 7.30. I'm gonna call this drawing time being done because I need to go to bed, as sad as that sounds. Because I need to get up really early and I still wanna edit some stuff and maybe get a video out today, maybe, or tomorrow morning, first thing. I'll, yeah, give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if uh, anybody is watching, but I'm just gonna go along with the idea that somebody is watching because that's fun. That just makes it more fun for me. Have a wonderful day. Go out, make something new. Just find that time. Attack the day, do, it, do the things you gotta do, and then make some art too, because you gotta do that too. Just do it. Just try to find a way to get some more in there, because it's better. <laughs> I don't know, if you're anything like me, life is better after you've made something, even something as tiny and silly as that. I mean, that was fun. It means a lot. See you next time.